Well, welcome to I'll Sip to That. I am your host, Shannon Shannon. And I am your girl, Jess So Harlow. And I'm your girl, Sashay. Hey, Sippers. Welcome, Sippers. Mwah, mwah, mwah. We, we miss, miss you. you. <laughs> Thanks. 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 Okay, I'll take a sip. <laughs> Mm. How was it? It's good. Mm. We have definitely missed you guys, and um, I'm sure that you missed us too. If you say you didn't, you're lying. <laughs> I mean, that's just what it is. I know you missed us, but we have missed you. We um, hope that, you know, this little fade or fad that we had to go through that kept us from airing is gone and we can come back and give you juicy conversations lots of wine conversations joining our wine party part of our wine club we have so much stuff coming up and you can't miss it and if you do that's on you and we have a secret you. oh yeah we, and it's going to remain one oh, yes. but you can tell them jazz so harlem <laughs> all excited. the new people that's um that, that's new to Sip to That. Let them know what Sip to That is all about. Well, <laughs> it's the interaction of conversations between myself and my fellow sippers, Sashay and Shannon. Um, Who? What's your name? Is it Shannon? Shannon, Shannon. <laughs> Shannon, Shannon. Okay, yeah. Wow. So, I mean, we just have a great conversation. We're talking about life, love, relationships, marriage, real estate, business, health, wealth, all that good stuff. So if you would meet us here at 7.30 for conversation, pour your favorite drink in a glass, and we're sure that you will have something to sip about. Now, Sashay, let our sippers know what they can sip on. So we love to sip on our wine, of course. I'll sip to that. Period. Yes. <laughs> but whatever your choice um, of beverages, then you can sip on that. So if you don't want to sip wine, um, tonight you could just drink some water, you know, some <laughs> ice and a lemon. You get some tea, you can get a latte, you can get some cognac, you get whatever is your choice. <laughs> you can go ahead and drink that and you can still sip with us because if you are in agreement to whatever we say, you'll just say, I'll, I'll sip, sip to that. that. And it's just normal conversation that you have any other time. So you'll be able to join us each and every Thursday. Thursday. Yes. Thursday. Each and every Thursday. And we want you to come on. Um, if you feel like you have something that you want to talk about, if you want to just join our conversation, you want to get on our Zoom, let us know. And we're going to, you know, sip you right on in <laughs> and um, bring your friends too. And let's get down, have some girl chat. And we're open to any conversations that you might want to talk about. Mm -hmm. um, you can DM us. Um, on well at sip to that sip underscore two underscore that on Instagram or you can go into our direct message on Facebook or you can go to our email at sipping 2018 at yahoo.com we're always welcoming you to give us you know whatever you have and we will definitely discuss it on, on live or we would do pre-recorded shows Again, we will have you on the show and you could talk about it. If you want to remain anonymous, let us know that too. We won't call out your name, but we definitely will read your story. So just let us know what you want to do. Slide in them DMs. Don't be scared. Yes. Don't we like to have a conversation and, you know, we can meet and greet. Yes. I love you that. know, hook us up with something. We can hook you up. With yes. Something. We love to connect. We love to network, all of that good stuff. If you even love reality TV, because we do. We and love you want to just sip about that and talk <laughs> about it and vent. We could do that with you too. So <laughs> absolutely, I'll sip to that. And I'll I will sip definitely to that. sip to that. Yes, absolutely. And ladies, again, I am so glad to be back. I have missed you guys. I've missed the conversation. I'm glad that. And I missed our audience. I'm a yeah. um, and you know, we always have things to talk about, even though we don't talk to them. Right. We're talking to each other. It's always a conversation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, now we have we, the best conversations when we have drinks. We do. We do. You guys <laughs> should just, everyone. Yeah. Like, well, not everyone. Some people well, just people don't know right. how. Yeah. You have to don't be, know how to what? Don't know how to conversate. Oh. Some people don't know how to conversate. Said, yeah, yeah, they, they don't. don't. And you get mad. You know, you have to be open to. You have to be open. You have to agree to, to disagree. disagree. And, and you can come find a common ground. And you can still some, be good after them. Yeah. Get a sip first. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that might loosen you up. Just loosen up, a little sip, or whatever you want to sip on, right. and you start your conversation. Good Absolutely. Or, good or bad. Good, good or, or bad. bad. And that brings us to the topic of our show tonight, mm -hmm. which is titled, When It Rains, It Pours. Mm. And actually, that is what's happening in our area all week. It's right. been raining cats and dogs. Continuing but, into the weekend, too. Yeah, continuing. I have plans. Yeah. Good shot. 
Well, guess what? Again, when it rains, it pours. <laughs> but that's not always a bad thing. Yeah. It really, really isn't because we know what rain does. It fertilizes the earth, your ground, your flowers. And then, then after the rain is gone, everything blossoms. Yes. So, you know, raining is not always bad, you guys. I enjoy it sometimes because it allows me to slow down, relax. I don't have to go out into the, you I know, anywhere. So I, I do welcome it sometimes. But when, like Jazz So Harlem said, when it's time to move and groove, it kind of, <laughs> you know, alter your plans a little yeah. bit. But um, again, our show is titled When It Rains, It Pours. And I want to go into our first conversation, ladies, okay. because this is juicy. We have three different topics that I want to try to cover in this little bit of time that we're going to give our sippers. Okay. But the first conversation is relating to our rappers of today. I don't know what's going on. Okay. And what I'm talking about is the recent um, conversation about Young Thug and um, Ghana, Ghana. Mm -hmm. being okay. indicted. Oh my God. You know, like, that's crazy. I don't what understand. happened? And... Well, what they said was that, um, let's see, I'm going to read it right from the paper. It says, Young Thug and Ghana have been arrested following charges filed in Fulton County, Georgia, according to local news station. They were charged along with two dozen others in a 50 count mm -hmm. 56 mm -hmm. count indictment so what they were charged for was gang banging murder murdering carjacking all kind of stuff so these are all the charges that they have been thrown well that has been thrown on them and my question is why like why why get this far in life and get to this point to allow this type of stuff to happen and it's not just them. Like, you see it all the time. It's like when yeah, people reach certain plateaus yeah. in their careers, they mess up and they fumble the ball. Like, what do you think? I think, first of all, in that paper, and all them other people, Lil Baby better not be in there. That's number that. one. Because <laughs> I ain't got that trouble. time. Baby better not. He better not be in there. Sorry to them men, but I love Young Thug and I love Gunner. But so Lil Baby, uh -uh, we're not playing them type of games, cousin. Second of all, um... That's a good question because I honestly feel like just with Young Thug or Gunner, they've been in the industry for a minute now, especially Young Thug. And those are like these rappers are still human beings. Like they were right. hustlers, right. you know, they was go getters. Right. So I feel like even though they got to this point of rich and fame, it's a, probably a target on their back 10 times harder because just because you made it, your beef not gone or, That's you know, true. your rivals are still still there. So nothing just kind of disappeared. I don't know if that was the case, but I, sometimes I don't feel like it's just new beef that they're getting into. I'd be feeling like it's older right. stuff that they're still trying to, it just, you know, it just comes with it. And they think, you know... They're rich and famous now, so you got people that's either just rivals, jealousy, oh, all of that, Mis that. miscommunication, that. Yeah, you know, right. industry stuff. Like it, it could be a lot. So to be tied it into all that, I still feel like they are still from the streets at the end of the day. So <laughs> that's true. That's very true. But yeah. that's too much. It is. It's a lot. I don't want to take a sentence, <laughs> but I'm still well, no, just we're, we're, yeah, because what you said is absolutely true, and those could be some of the reasons. You know, and it also, their fame could be a cover up for who they were. So they got to this position because we, one thing that we do know is that the music business is dirty. shisty. Dirty. Yes, really, really dirty. dirty from what we hear. From what we hear. Um, from what it's we dangerous hear. and it's, it's a lot, Alleged. you know, behind the scenes that we don't even know and probably would never, ever get a taste of fully. Right. But I know it's a lot of stuff behind that scene. So who's to say they didn't use this position like as a cover-up. Maybe this is something that's been happening. Maybe they wanted to try to get out the game. I don't know what it right. is to be in a game. Well, right. kind of. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I know that one for another one. But I don't know how it is to be in a gang gang like that to be associated where you can't get out and you have to do X, Y, and Z. So right. maybe the music was an escape, you know, right. to maybe think that they could get out of it once they got to this certain... Um, yeah. What is fame? <laughs> so maybe that's what it is. But if it's not that, I don't understand it. Because again, it's like a lot of celebrities get there and then again, they fumble. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. And then you were dating, uh, what's his name? Not Young Thug, Gunna. You were dating Chloe. 
Nobody said he they was she, they, she, they were they dating. Were friends. All they friends. Friends. They were friends. They were friends. They were friends. Um, yes, she did. They were, they no. They're friends. She did confirm. She never confirmed. You got, I'm going to find it. I've been on that video. Oh, my gosh. Allegedly. They did a video together. No, 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 no. They were shopping together. And she had. Did you watch the video? I did not watch the video. You know what video I'm talking about? I do not know what video Okay, they were So you're talking about when they got the pictures inside the store and all that? That was for his video. Okay, well, that was for his video. Uh, see, there again, a lot of perception things are missing. That was perception. Well, that was right <laughs> it was for me. But she did say something about him. I'm going to find it on... Um, Chloe, I got your back. Uh, Chloe, that was your man. And I'm going to find they it on the friends. shade room. No, she said something about their relationship, you guys. Okay. I promise he you. He said it, that they're not together. But, of course, he would like that. They're friends. Like, they're literally just friends. Say with your piece, and then I'm gonna go back to that conversation about what well, he said. But go Hannah ahead. Is definitely pushing P. I am like a crazy Ooh. fan of Thugger, and I love Gunner. This is like yeah, really it's heartbreaking. Wild. Um, like she said, I really don't know if like this is something that has happened because they're in, in the industry. Like you know, they could have just had prior issues with people and just different gang related things. But we don't know. We can't speculate because. Celebrities are just people that have a different tax right. bracket. Yes. But not only I'll rappers, this, this is just athletes. They fumble in the bag. You got business people. You got anybody. It can right. happen to anybody. They're just in the public eye. So, little Jazz is not judging. I still love y'all a long we gotta, way. We gotta, but we gotta, we gotta hope that little Baby don't got nothing to do with yes, What is it with little Baby? That's my cousin. I love little Baby. I mean, he's just like a little Baby. Well, yeah. no, I think I he's think very... He much a grown man that that fumble that he's not that he's a kid the way you're treating Jada way to Wada the way she's still I'm not even talking okay, about we're not going to get there we're not going to get there I'm just saying yeah. I like treat you how you allow them to treat you yeah. stop right there Ooh. Okay. Anyways, okay. I like baby music, and he's been doing amazing he's in his in his great. industry in a short amount of not in a short amount of time. He's been in the industry for a minute now too, but everything he put out, out is, is, a is a banger. So it's like. I just can see him just keep evolving and evolving. So I don't yeah. want him in any drama. I don't want him to. Just... Well, he hasn't been included. Yeah, I know. Okay. I'm just saying. Okay. Because they're trying Who to. Who said drive. that? I found that out last night. They're trying to put him in this. Oh, well, wow. I don't know, you know, to what extent and what he would have to do with it. But, you know, they're all Atlanta rappers. Well, you never know. Because, first of all, I'm you know, afraid. even the people that, the ones that's your favorites mm -hmm. are usually the ones that's in the most they are stuff. They are no stuff. Well, but I, I don't know. They like I just read up here. It was how many people? Fifty six. Fifty six people that were indicted. So I'm I'm no. I'm just waiting to see. Uh, it's gonna probably be a list of people there that is. we don't I even agree. expect to be um, a part of this. That's in this. I want to know what the it's charges crazy are specifically though. Because now it's this one blog uh, that um, I use. Well, I do still follow her. It's called Gossip in the City. Uh huh. It's a blog, and she has oh said months. Months, months ago, okay, probably like a year ago, she, and she had posted something. Just she didn't say who, but she said a lot of uh, y'all rappers are about to go down. Wow, like she had put that months, like months ago, and it's crazy. And I just thought about it with wow. that, and I wonder if that was something that she was like speculating because they know, they know, she definitely, she definitely, she definitely knows a lot, and so did they. <laughs> so today, one thing you you know when you're getting you know when an indictment is coming you you know it it's word word is on the streets yeah. there's so many um what do you call those people um right. no um oh my gosh right. what, are, what are they called detectives I no, the people that they use the to raise. um yeah the people that they use to um peasants pawns. Oh my goodness, like to set you up. Like they act like they're your friends and stuff. What are they called? Oh, mold. Uh, not, it's a, not mold. It's a but, name. Um, they, um, they set you up? Yes. I don't get it. Informant. Yes. yes. Oh, okay, Raz. Okay, yes. Yeah, okay, yes. 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 But Same I was going to say this, though. You know what? If you think about it, all of this might have been going on previously. It was. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, yeah, they had an indictment. I'm now. sorry. They go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Oh, go no, ahead. go ahead. No, I'm done for. Real. I just think that this has like been going on. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like people like may have things out against them because they have money, like you said. Mm -hmm. You know, oh, you're thugger, so you're gonna do this and do this. Like, like almost like a knife to your back. Like almost like you have to. Yeah. Well, here's a mistake too. When I was reading the article, this is a mistake that we make, even in 
um, making videos even mm -hmm. and posting content even with speaking in videos this mouth can get us in trouble yeah, because what they did say was that a lot of things that were happening mm -hmm. um, young thug was rapping about yeah, in his yeah. videos and oh, his songs mm -hmm. so you have to think about that stuff too you got to be so careful People are watching, especially the feds. Yeah. And most of the time with indictments, so I've been told, there is usually a year or a couple of years, five years of process of what they're following you, tracking you before they have enough yeah. evidence where they can right. really sock it to you. Yeah. So this probably been going on for a long time. Yeah. They've been being watched. I'm sure their phones have been yeah. um, mm -hmm. violated <laughs> and tapped yes. and all kind of different stuff. Yes. So yeah. the evidence that might come out in this, Mm, mm, mm. I just pray for y'all because it's it's, it's sad. So sad. It is. I just it's don't sad. like them to go down like that. I know. I want y'all to when y'all get to that, you know, fame and like money and be able to set yourself up your family, family. up. It's just kind of like you just want you want to see them be able to, to win. To win. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But yeah. we don't know what goes on behind closed doors. We don't right. know what they do either. But right. It's sad. And you know the system is already set up for us, right. and um, just to have you in there, and for the statue of who you are, just makes right. it even worse. It does. Because now you got to worry about people coming for you just for that inside, right. you know, which I'm sure is probably harder because now you're in a confined space. Can't do you can't do nothing, yeah. and you don't know if these guards or whoever is being paid to, to do, do whatever. To yeah. So that would be the scariest thing for me. I'm sorry, this is happening. Yeah, guys. And I, I pray for like the best outcome. For but listen, we could be sorry. However, if you're murdering people, I'm sorry, y'all. We are live. We are live, and we have, you know, Chloe is in the house per usual, um, making her rounds. But um, you have to understand too, if they are actually going out killing people, yeah, I can't feel sorry for that because you you took someone's life, you took someone's son, father, brother, cousin, sister, whoever it is. So you know, you got to pay. You got to pay for the crime. Whew. Yes, yes, that yes. Was that was heavy. I told you when it rained, it what? Pours. <laughs> Well, on to our next discussion. We're going to keep the, the rain coming because this right here has blown my mind. We're right back to the conversation we had, I think, maybe about four or five years ago. Roe versus Wade. And if no one knows what that is, this was a time where the Supreme Court had um, ruled that... Um, the abortion of, I think it was Wade, she didn't want to abort her baby and they wanted her to abort the baby. So she won the case because she wanted to be able to have pro-choice yeah. um, on whether or not she wanted to keep her child or if she wanted to abort the child. So we're right back at this now. The Supreme Court is trying to overturn this law, you guys. It, it, it I'm not even going to use the word. It makes me upset because how can anyone have that right to tell you what to do with your body as a woman? And then when you look at half of the people that are in charge of making this decision, they're men. Right. Telling us women <laughs> what to do with our vajayjays. Right. And, and you don't have that right. You don't have that right as an outsider. And you don't even have that right as a prospective dad. Don't. You can't tell me what to do with my body. Mm -hmm. And all it's going to do, in my opinion, is force people to do worse things. They're going to try to do home abortions. Or they're going to go to these little side underground people like they did with the butt injections. Yes. And, Ooh. you know, put themselves in worse situations. You mm -hmm. know, and... I just don't understand how people can jump on the bandwagon, even some women, and feel like this is okay until it's your daughter, until it's your niece, until it's your cousin, until it's your grandchild. Then the wheels will turn. It'd be a right. totally different story. But they'd get flown out, you know, to the private doctors and right, everything right. like that. that. Yeah. So you know, we wouldn't know too. what goes on. But I just don't think it's any persons I don't care who it is I don't think it's anyone's right but the person who needs to make that decision as to whether or not they want to abort their child and um, Sashay, Sashay and I were speaking earlier about this and she did have some good um, you said a lot of good things um, in <laughs> reference to this and I was like say that save that for the show so if, share with the sippers some of the things you were saying in reference to why you felt maybe this is happening Oh, okay. So, at first I'm like, what there, it there it comes. So, I felt like they are trying to, like, demand this and do this because a lot of, especially, like, my generation right now or millennials or whatever, 
us having kids like went down yes. like you know so we are not ha you know we're not having that that much kids so maybe like a population issue you know where they, they feel like that's the issue i don't know but i still stand by like you said if they if you want to do whatever you want to do with your body you do that like exactly. i don't think anybody should have a say so because if you if we have the precautions to do it safely you have these clinics and stuff to do it safely so they won't harm themselves by doing it then go ahead and, and keep that because you don't know what people are going through you don't know you know if they were victims to you know abuse rape whatever the case may be right. you don't know that so to just try it's too broad to just be like okay you can't get an abortion you know but i know different people have beliefs mm -hmm. you know religious beliefs i get that but everybody is different everybody's situation is different things happen hopefully if you know if you do it once and i'm not saying i'm for you to keep doing it and keep right, doing it right no but at the end of the day that's still your choice but at the end of the day no i i, I don't agree with that and i know texas um is passing that law. I think North Carolina. It's the, yeah. There are about eight states right yeah. now. Yeah. So it's just, it's that's it's sad. It's scary because I don't know what's, what's going to happen. Like you said, if people start doing it the opposite way. Right. And now we have these, you know, people taking their lives. Or, mm -hmm. And I even seen they're trying to, um, ha like, be a, it's a fe like, you'll be a felon. What? Yes. I seen something like that. Like, they're trying to make it like that. What? And even if, you like miscarry they were still try to put that as like they have to identify no. it because it might be no an way. abortion like how are you going to investigate somebody miss a miscarriage and then saying oh it's still an abortion and that, that they could be a felon for that I like read that. that's no way crazy. you can't determine that's you crazy can't, you can't decipher if it's a miscarriage or if it's just you that's know uh, i don't even want to say like a stillborn I guess right like because yeah. if somebody is actually ha miscarrying and they're going to that clinic to get cleansed or whatever the necessary procedure is how are you going to tell someone that was an abortion like how right. will you know how will you be able to wow. charge someone for something with you know just a woman's body is her choice like she can do whatever she wants with it and for men to make those decisions it's all fine and dandy until your daughter's raped or molested or it's her uncle's child okay. or something like that. I watched Girl in the Basement. You guys know I love Lifetime. <laughs> I watched Girl in the Basement last night, and it was a true story. And this girl was in the cellar for, like, over 20 years. And her dad raped her, and she ended up having wow. like over nine kids. This was in Germany. Ooh, Look it up. Is... Girl in the Basement. Ooh. It's a true story. He kept going wow. downstairs. The dad? The dad was raping her, and she gave birth to all these kids. Mm. They were his grandkids and kids. It was disgusting. So there is no way that you can tell a woman what to do with her body. And if you're in one of those states and you're watching and you're <laughs> thinking about it, run, flee. Because there's that. no way that you're going to tell me I have to deal with Absolutely. this situation for another however many years. You don't know if that person is going through something, date rape, drugged. You, just anything mm -hmm. you can't do that to a woman so and Damn. any women that are up there saying yeah we're gonna go ahead and make it a felon i don't understand that. yeah that's you just watch crazy. your daughter because yeah. it's not gonna be the same energy when it comes back around absolutely and and um even what you're saying that about people fleeing from different states i never even thought about that but that's something to think about because you know, are you causing harm in your own state when you're making this a law? Now people feel like they want to move because if that was to happen to them, they don't have that right to be able to do it unless you can travel to another state. I don't, I don't even think I don't know. Do I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. I, don't know. I, think I know before you penalized. Like if they find out that you still went somewhere else because you're still living that state. That's crazy. I what if I just moved last weekend? Yeah. Like, but I'm again, right. like how are y'all going to go to the death of like identifying all that? Like that's just, that's too much. That's we got way more other stuff to be worried about. A lot. And y'all are backtracking. Yeah. 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 And even the rape thing that you said, if I, if I'm raped, if I Why get raped and I don't want to keep this baby, Baby, I shouldn't be held, you know, responsible, responsible right. for keeping this baby. Why right. would I want to do that? Right. I don't, I just don't get it. Like, I don't get you know, how right. you can make this decision decision for someone and to make it a law. A like, law. I, I right. don't get that. Right. It, it, it just messes me up. And even what you said about the um, population thing, you know, mm -hmm. that is something to think about because... If we're not having kids and, and, and the millennials have stopped having kids as much, which they have, mm -hmm. they, it has really slowed down. You don't, I don't see too many of 
you know, Sashay's friends or mm -hmm. people within her generation walking around with babies like they were in my generation. We had the baby boom era. Like there was, <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. I mean, there was kids everywhere. We were having kids young. Right. You don't see that now. You yeah. have these kids going to school or they feeling like I can't afford them or I don't yeah, want them because I want to travel. I want to yeah. do so many different right. other things. So the, you know, the rate has slowed down so much. Mm -hmm. Now the government want to come in and say, oh no, hold up. Something ain't, right. well, something ain't working here. The right. census that I never fill out the census Ooh, said no fine. oh find me the census <laughs> said um you know it's only x amount of people in this household and where are the little kids because yeah. that's why they take those reports they do because they, they need to they know need to what's going on the they want to vaccinate more people right. that and too. then you have to get a booster and oh. there might be a fourth oh, booster but we don't have that's a whole other conversation and Kamala Harris had gotten COVID recently and she, she was vaccinated so Okay, but that's a whole nother conversation. We're talking yeah, about abortions over here. Card. <laughs> but I even, um, just to kind of end this topic, once, you know, but I had even, you know, thought to myself, like, okay, like, even if they are going to do this law, maybe they could just have it where if it's a certain amount of time, you get what I'm saying? But then I was like, a lot what of people... What do you mean? Is a certain like, amount of time. The yeah, how far you into can. it. Oh, yeah. But then again, you can't do that because a lot of women, they don't even know. They don't even what? know that you're pregnant until... You know, after that that date, yeah. so you can't. That, but that was there either. But that that is actually a law now. Like certain states, well, yeah. you have to be well, yeah. you know a certain amount of months. But like, you can go to another state, state to, to do get it. it. Yeah, yeah, is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. But if they, you know, if they was gonna do a law like what they're doing now, I would say do something like that. Like right. if you're this far along, but then again, that's still some people don't know. You they don't, don't know. Like I didn't have no symptoms. Know. I didn't do, have still anything. Still get the period. So I was yeah. still in the period. So you you really just don't don't know. Don't know. And but just, that's still too much control to me, even in that. I but I understand what you're saying. Right. Um, but that's still too much freaking control. I don't think it matters about the amount of yeah, time. It, it, it if shouldn't. you want to, you want to. If you don't, you don't. don't. And right. you keep it moving and mind your business. And but just mind our business. And we should. But in reference to that as well, how about us as ladies? Be more responsible. So we don't have yes, to go to our... No, no, no. I don't even... I'm not talking, I'm not I'm talking not about, about the ones that are being responsible yeah, I'm not with birth either. control. I'm talking about the ones that's just out here willy-nilly sleeping with any and everybody. But, but then you still... get pregnant and then you decide, well, I don't want it because, you know, I ain't mean to get pregnant. There's no such thing. But still, if you're not, you, cannot, you, you, you still cannot identify that is what I'm saying because the one person can go ahead and just be out here recklessly and then you have that one person who did everything safely. My they head. did everything perfectly safely. I'm not safely, talking to that still, person. But how would you? That's you what I'm saying. Can't no, can't, that. you can't, you can't identify that. I'm not trying to. I'm I'm speaking to the ladies themselves and saying be more responsible. I'm not saying for someone to judge whether or not that oh, was yeah. a responsible person. Be more person. responsible. At the end of the day, that's still you could be responsible and it still happens. So that's still in the, okay. in the air. And oh then my. you go somewhere with somebody else, and then you get pregnant by the person that you just met, by the person that you've been with eight or nine times, and never happened. Okay, so, then that's not responsible. But be responsible. That's not that's responsible. What it, so you're just saying be responsible. Um, Condom. Ninety nine percent. Right. Don't, don't excuse no. me. Birth control is 99%. Not, nothing's 100%. Right. However, it's, you can be active in it, especially if you know that you're sexually active or you don't, you're sleeping with multiple people. Then do something about it. That's be abstinent. That too. Be responsible. That's what we're trying to say. That's exactly what I said. Just be responsible. Please sip to that. Be responsible. I'm not advocating to be out here going crazy. Yes, that's all I I will sip to be responsible. But things happen. I'm not going to judge you. And number 11 was the hitman. And you don't want it. Don't have it. Oh my gosh. What is your business? Oh wow. It's your business. You know, I'm the most least judgeable person. I could care less. But that's not judgment. That's not judgment. I'm, they have I'm, to take that up with God. That has nothing to do no, with No, I law. understand that. No, but yes, this, but is. if the law happens, this is what I'm saying. So to avoid that stuff from happening, be more responsible so you don't have to get yourself into that type of predicament where you feel like somebody's telling you. For I'm talking to those that no. are reckless. reckless. I'm not okay. talking about the ones that are, are right. Then. Right. Okay. I'm not speaking to them. Well, if you're reckless, oh. go to another state. <laughs> <laughs> do not sit to that. Do you need a ride? Be responsible. <laughs> Responsible, please. Be responsible. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Woo. But things happen. Things, things do happen. happen. Things do happen. And that's the moral of it. That yes. They can't identify. They can't identify. It's too much. It's so too for y'all to make a law. 
That's crazy. Virginia, you better not. You better not. not. <laughs> better not. Better and not, not only that, you guys, this is the time to decide for the next election, too, because you see the things that are going right. on. Right. So you better be thinking careful, not just for the president election, for the mayors, Senators. the councilmen, the senator, all them, the people that's in your towns and your cities and your states. Those are the people that you need to look for because they're ultimately, ultimately making the decision for yeah. your um, state. Right. So you have to be careful for that too, you guys. So make sure you're looking at what Good Morning America, because everybody <laughs> knows that's where I get all of my news. Oh, yeah, go, off, go watch Lifetime. That's where all the or news Or if you on your phone, Apple News and CNN is gonna pop up and give you what's going on. That's or all news. if you're on Instagram, you can always go to the Shade Room. <laughs> oh no! I thought you were gonna say sip to that. Me too. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, to that. <laughs> but well, I'm saying they they have a lot of stories. We get a lot of stuff. From no more questions. Well, I, I'm no sorry. Question. Okay, no more exit out. <laughs> so, um, can you take that out? Okay, thank you. <laughs> Speaking of takeout, ladies, have you guys? Chloe's at it again. Have you guys seen? I know you are on a um, social media diet, yeah. but have you guys seen or heard about <laughs> Megan The Stallion and her boyfriend um, in the club? Yes. The yeah. way he lifted Joy. her up. Yes. Oh, this was the wow. biggest thing of all time. Jazz. Why Harlan. was it the biggest thing ever? Like, Did he? he did. How did he? My cousin wasn't mad. <laughs> you know how you pick somebody up? Okay, like that. Yes. Yeah, like, okay. So they said that he was, uh, they were like, Dave, Megan Man was dragging her like a rag Ragged doll. <laughs> it literally looked like that. Now, if you know Megan Thee Stallion, she was she's stallion. big. Yes, she's he a stallion. Like a rag doll? He lifted her up like <laughs> she didn't weigh nothing. I said to And her uh, hair just was swinging and swinging and party, 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 party partisan party. or something like that. I'll sit to that, sir. But how do you guys feel about that? Like, is strength a thing for you? Would you be okay with your man lifting? Oh, you didn't see it, but when I say he lifted her up, man, he was swinging, and he not only did he almost drop her, but he <laughs> scooped her right back up and just act like nothing ever happened. Looked like she was on a wild bull. Yeah, <laughs> PDR. She, she was in Texas. She yes. was in Houston. Uh, she but how do y'all feel about that? Like the strength of a man or your man being that affectionate or that, that um I'm not gonna say overly aggressive because he wasn't he was just they was just having a good time. They were right. Doing that. Yeah. But would you mind if your man did that to you in the club? No. Well in the club? In the club. Like they were. Hmm. It depends. It depends on what type of night okay. I say we have like if we just we lit, we having a fun, you know, just a great time. Yeah, I probably wouldn't mind. But if I'm just on like a Chill. Chill. Like, you have to know my vibe. So don't just be doing it. Because I, I can get annoyed, like, really. Like, why would you do that? Like, I'm not in that type of feel. You know, I'm not in that type of moment. But I don't know. Maybe, like, if it's, like, a family gathering, like, event type thing, I, would, I would, wouldn't care. Does that make it weird? Yeah. I'm, I'm mean, opposite. You know what you're in front of my Aunt Sheila? <laughs> <laughs> no, do not. Like, I'm just saying, like, it's not, like, out in public. Like, my family, oh, like, you know, you know, you know that we, wow, we have a fun time. We, you know, we know enjoy it. But out in the club, I'm just thinking right now, like, in okay. the club, like, I can't see it. But I'm all for it. Like, if I see somebody else do it, I wouldn't be like, oh, my gosh. I'm like, right. yes. 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 Like, like you know, yeah. It. But I guess <laughs> if it's towards me, I'll just be like, he got to know. <laughs> no, Jazz or Harlem? Oh, I'm a victim to it on the regular. So. Oh gosh, uh, y'all me... know how wild my hand is. So <laughs> a pick up, a swing, take my wig off. I'm just <laughs> not I'm a victim way, to it. Uh -huh. But um, I'll tell y'all that story later. I was crying tears today. Um, but I mean, I'm the opposite of sachet. I do it in. Public, I don't know these people. I'm not gonna see them again. We're having a great I'll time. To that. We know are that. normally ten times out of ten the life of the party. So people just cling to us, swing to us, vibe with us. So we just crazy. And in front of my family, my aunt Sheila, oh my god, Jasmine, no, I can't, I can't do that. Even though my family is the bomb, we have a great time. Just the the, the comments, the Snickers might have me fighting one of my cousins. So just don't do it in my family. Oh, maybe family. I don't care because I was like, what was that? Okay, <laughs> I'm gonna still and, enjoy. Like, right. I don't know. I don't really she care. She was going there. He was picking her up. And I'm like, sure, sure, sure. We had a good time. And, you know. I'm like, you mad? 
And you couldn't hang on nobody to pick you up. It's going to be a VIP section at my wedding because it's going to be a lot of swinging and picking oh, up. Oh, God. Same here. <laughs> well, you know, for me, I wouldn't care. I, 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 know you wouldn't yeah, care. I wouldn't care if it's at the club. I wouldn't care if it's in front of the family. I wouldn't care if it's in front of grandma. <laughs> Disrespectful, but I'm saying that because everybody knows how I yeah, am, right, so right. it wouldn't be no surprise for me to do it wherever. I'm like, yes, lift higher, higher, <laughs> it would. Yeah. It would. yes, right. that would be me. So I would love it. I, I, I think that would be great because we're having a good time, and at that moment, I know the party is really either really popping right or it's about to really start getting popped off or we just started this party to get it popping so yeah. one or the three things is happening but yes i welcome it i i think that is awesome i was i was smiling and cheesing while i'm seeing him do that to her i was exactly. like damn he is looking at her like that and man is a big no she's a big girl That's and for him to have just yeah. You had to see the way he was lifting her up and just <laughs> tossing her back and forth and her and hair is swinging. Like, yeah. <laughs> she was. That's that Texas energy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. I love it. Now, love let me ask this, and I'm not trying to be in y'all business, <laughs> you but I'm going to ask anyway. How would you like that in the bedroom? Are you for your man lifting you up like that? You know, and pressing you up against the wall or anything like that? <sighs> I wasn't Absolutely. previously, but now I am. Oh. Yes. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. <laughs> no, she she asked. Yes, yes. You did ask. She did ask. So you, okay. You just asked. I did. We're not going in detail. We're not going in detail. But I, so you would be Absolutely. okay? Absolutely. Oh, okay. Yes. Because there's some women that don't like that and well, they won't. <laughs> they better. I don't know what they got going on. Because some people are not into things like well, that. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. They, their man lift right. them up. They're like, what are you doing? <laughs> like, like, find out, girl. Find out. out. <laughs> I was going to do to find out. Jazz or Harlem? Yes, of course. Okay. Okay. Well, I didn't at first, but now with this particular, yes. Really? Because my man is just tall and... <sighs> Oh gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Shannon. Oh. Shannon. No, no. I, yeah, I, right. def I definitely wouldn't want that. <laughs> yes, I definitely would, would not I want that. You. Nothing about you. <laughs> of course, of course I would. I think that stuff is fun oh. and it's exciting, especially if they can pick you up. But see, <laughs> when you start gaining weight, when you start gaining weight, <laughs> that's when it becomes a problem. You're like, dang, you ain't picking me up no more. Well, but you better get gain the, uh, about they got some pounds. things that hang from the wall, the swingers, and y'all better figure it out. And now we're taking it's, ceilings down. I don't, I don't break know. the ceiling. Right. No, not, well, you gotta have a real good ceiling. But right. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> they, they do. Things, they have they? different things. That's a whole nother show. We're gonna bring right. some sex toys. Maybe we are call bring Candy. Candy, oh, candy oh, and see if she come on in here and um, tell, us tell us some stuff. But I do know a sexologist, too. So we can probably bring her in on that type of conversation. Yeah, that would be good. Oh, gosh. Who's that? Hot and steamy. It's yes, it's been hot and That's steamy. Uh, yeah, Houston. <laughs> All right. I think we're going to end this right here because we can go so many different ways with this. I got one question. Though. Okay. Do you guys like being choked? Yes. No. I'm about to fight you. You're not no. Not no. like, oh my gosh, but it has to be like a nice show. Show, like, show us what you mean. Like, yes, like, show Jasmine. Show Jasmine. us a oh. like, like this or like. like <laughs> not like where you can't breathe, but it's just like a nice, like, grip. Like, you know, it's like a nice, like, just like grip. going like that. No. Oh my gosh. Is it going to yeah. be during the time where you're I don't know. Your... Is it, is okay. It Wait I'm... till the uh, sexologist comes. Oh, do you? Because so like, I'm not going to tell know. nobody. Because y'all gonna be on um, you saw that show Sex Brought Me to the ER. So I'm not gonna tell y'all how <laughs> oh to my do it. God. Your that. man will know how to. You teach him how to. He'll say, "Is this good?" Like, I can't breathe. Okay, loosen up a little bit. You get your rhythm, and y'all figure that out. I just don't understand how that, that is so you don't, like. What? What about that you don't make? choke them? No, no, really, not during no. sex. Now maybe during an argument. <laughs> <laughs> Choked. Mm -hmm. I'll be like this. <laughs> and that's how I'm mad. I'm not going to be mad. Like, are you still breathing? Like, no. I never. No. Grandma, Jasmine. if you watch this, I apologize. <laughs> I apologize too. Um, and she'll apologize. <laughs> <laughs> I never 
<laughs> and that's where it ends right there are no more apologies any other questions before we end that was the show? a nice question that was just that, so any more hard. questions or comments oh i do hard. have one thing since we were talking about houston we were uh, i mean not houston we're talking about texas <laughs> okay megan so y'all why did texas pass the law that they cannot have filters what what do you mean Filter, you know Instagram, how you have the filters. Yes, what? They banned the fil you? And um, Illinois, they. What do they you mean? That you cannot have the filter. So a lot of people, like the other day, they you know lived in Texas and they woke up and they like I don't I don't have no filters. Like the filters are gone. So basically, what they're saying, like you know how Instagram filters are, like it really changed like your whole yeah. face. So they're like banning that because. Catfishing? They feel like it's catfishing? Um, I didn't read into it too much, I but I mean, oh, catfishing, but yeah, and just, you know, it changed your whole, like, identity. Like, they're saying they can't get... Oh, my god. Yeah, gosh. so if it has any type of, like, the filters that, like, really change your whole, like, Parents. your appearance, which I... I don't not say I don't agree on it because like I even really didn't like Instagram filters because it does you don't even look like yourself. Right. You know what I'm saying? It was just it was too much of a, like a face too tune. much. Yeah. Yeah. So and you can see know. you can you can yeah tell. you can see it. So yeah. but people like are using it all the time. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Now Texas. I have to look into that. I we gotta come back it. to the story Maybe with like, that because or crime or like the business world mm. or something like that. You don't want somebody else walking to the office. You That's have their driver's right. license. You could pull it. You can. They still have the same name. They still have the same face. Mm. It's just a filter. It's just a filter. How, but no, there's too, did much, control. See the filter? Don't That's the too much control. Like Texas is the that yeah, filter is crazy. Me. I mean, they still have regular filters like you know change their background color stuff. But the ones that like actually change your face features. No. What? Oh like, my. Why? Yeah. Why? Control. Control. It's I mean, too I don't, much. I don't really. I, I do. don't think it's a problem. What is it? Because a lot of what is the reason? Like, what is it? Is it because if you walk into just a like, job, if you like, what is it? Not preventing? even. That. I think it's just for like the social media base of it. Like a lot of people have this persona, or you know, and they use on filters, and that's all they use. But, and it's but just so what? Like, it is fake. I can see if I was like yeah, a but, filter, and I walk into a job. Well, maybe it's something deeper. I only got like the gist like, of it. Like my it. best friend had sent it to me, so I was like, oh my gosh! And she was like, they finally passed the law. That's crazy. I said, that's crazy. That's wow. So crazy. You go to Texas, you can't use none of them filters. Well, what they tried to um, do something with TikTok. Wait, which was it? Where they were saying the kids? No, was it TikTok? Where they were saying the kids were being influenced by it, so they was trying to ban TikTok because they felt like little kids were being too influenced and they were doing the no, different probably. things. Which I can understand I that, that. that, but as a too. parent, <laughs> that's up for you to monitor your kids and. Well, control, put the controls sometimes, on Sometimes phones. they, they, they don't. I mean, I, I mean, get that. I, yeah, I get that. They should, that's their platform, so they should have some regulation. I know it's like, oh, well, you should be responsible for your child, yes, but it still should be some type of Or maybe adults shouldn't be able to do certain things on TikTok because a lot of these challenges that cause kids to die or get hurt or things that's that they're true. trying, like if it's for a child that's from, you know, like, Eight to fourteen, maybe there should be a different TikTok where you dancing and doing different yeah, things. Yeah, that's true. But I mean, it's that's still I like hard that idea. because, because I like that idea. you still have kids that log into or make different profiles. It, it's actually you eighteen or up, and they'll say, you say yeah. yeah, yeah, you could just say yeah. So it's not like yeah, that's, that's you can't true. really. That's why I said it's good on their put their platform because right. it can just monitor it for them, and then the parent y'all do whatever y'all need to do. I don't know how to TikTok. So, I've never TikTok. Well, I'll show you. We're gonna do one tonight. Oh, yeah. We're gonna do one tonight. I don't know anything about TikTok. But before we go, I do want to say for anybody that live in Texas or where was it, Illinois? Yeah. Go yeah, to the I next state. You. <laughs> you gotta go on the border to go like this. Yes, go to the next state and get your um, filters and whatever because that is crazy. So what if you take don't use the filter and like just Hawaii. use a natural view and then you go back to Texas? Are they gonna like remove the filters from your right. picture? Right. How do they see your picture? We gotta. We well, usually it probably is like location, like you know how in your Instagram like. It has a location oh, where you yeah. are, so it yeah. might just detect your location. location. That is weird. And uh, I don't agree with that, but we're going to, we You're definitely are going to. Gonna I, just, yeah, I just seen I know, I don't agree with what you just said. What I said? You <laughs> said, oh, don't use no filters. Zero yeah, is natural. Just, uh, natural is good. We're natural right now, but filters, <laughs> so is, right, but filtering does extent. enhance it. Just like when you uh, go into. Did you see it's, it's, Wait, listen. Snapchat just like, enhances. Instagram is a totally different. Well, I didn't. I never used the same. Do it. I'm, I'm going to do it. Is. But let me just say this: 
even when you take pictures, you know, photographers do your picture. They do the editing and everything like that. They, yeah. they I mean, they do a lot of editing that don't even look like that person. But that stuff can be used. So what right. is the difference? Right. Like, I don't, I don't get what the problem is. I don't know. Maybe it's just a false, false reality. It's just trying to bring it back. So, like, I remember when we could just post, this, just, just post. No, it was no filter. It was just our natural that. post, and right. that's it. Now it's like everything has to be. Perfect. Everything has to be X, Y, and Z. It. So maybe it's just like for the the children, like the you know yeah. our generation coming up, they don't want that false mentality of feeling like you always got to look, look like good. this. Or maybe that's it. But, but let me just have it though. Let Not me just add young. this, and I'm gonna end it right here. <laughs> okay. Everybody that use a filter don't look good. <laughs> Period. No, I'm so serious. Filters that. does not make everybody look that good. Is. So they can cancel that. Right. They don't. I've seen. Yeah, I just they like just the don't, ones that make it don't smooth. Like, you don't have your makeup done or something, and then you could just find a position that is smoothy as skin real quick. I love that. I yeah. mean, but, but I don't like the enhancements to pull your butt out, push your titties out. That's, that's too much. The There's a lot of editing. I mean, that's the Kardashians, much. when they make your legs thin. Yeah. And oh, have my God. Gas, what gas, app is that? <laughs> They, I need to find, like, I need they to find that app. Yeah, they got all those they like have an app, but So yeah. maybe it's just certain things that kids shouldn't yeah. be allowed to do. There should be a kid TikTok and there should be an adult TikTok. I don't know how you would distinguish. Yeah, I don't know how you but, would distinguish either. But, but, but for them, that's different. Like a, like just regular people, Kim and all them, they walk in their money. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So yes, they have, they have, to have an this image. type of yeah. image. X, Y, and Z. I get well, it. Maybe they still want that too. That's that might be the problem. problem. That might that's what problem. we're saying. That's probably what that but problem is. But we can stop them because if they're Texas and um, <laughs> leave, leave Texas and leave <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> that's what you do. And go to LA. Those but VA, don't bring that crap over here. <laughs> New York, don't you start <laughs> that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't do it. DC, Texas, don't I mean, do it. Atlanta, don't try it. The, don't yeah, try I like this. I I get it for just y the young. I just seen how the young generation came up on social media, and it's it's crazy. Like, yeah, because everything just has to be perfect. Well, then you need to shut so, social media social media all down together. altogether because it's going to be That's so many influences. I know that, but I'm just saying they're going to be influenced. So. They it are. don't matter. They can be influenced at the cookout. Well, they're gonna, be, they're gonna be influenced. Yeah, by but it's a, it's sister. a more, it's a heavy, it's more way. of a heavy influence. So yeah, you just have to, it. it just has to be certain things where, I don't know, that people have to kind of just get them back, reel into, it in a little bit. Yeah, just reel it in. Well, back to when it rained at fours because y'all shouldn't have that much control. I'm sorry. Child, I'm sorry. Woo. This was a good nice. show. Uh, <laughs> we thank you guys for tuning in for another conversation. Yeah. And just to piggyback off of what we said when we first started, welcome, bring your comments, bring your suggestions, your letters. If you want to sit in on the show, let us know. Uh, we're going to be starting a wine club coming soon. I already have people lined up that's wanting and waiting for us to start this thing. So it's going to be limited space, you guys. So you need to get in on the ground. We're going to be looking to position different people for different things. So it's going to be a lot of fun. And, and we have a lot of other things coming up too. But like yes. Jazz So Harlem it's said, it's a secret. <laughs> so be ready for that. It's going to blow your mind. It's going to be awesome yes. um with summer coming up you're going to see us out more yes. um so if, if you want to come with us and hang with us in the vip yes. section yes. let us know if you want us to let the bottle of wine if you can't physically ship it you can mm -hmm. cash app us and we'll take a donation mm -hmm. we appreciate oh, yeah. it mm -hmm. if you have any events or anything that yes. we can collab with um community outreach anything we are trying to be involved as much as possible yeah shout out to uh was it daddy's man Daddy. yes. that event was so good yes. i loved it so just things like that we want to stay in the loop and get sip to that out there so yes get That's to know it. us now because what <laughs> we love, you, super. We love yes. you and as we always do to end our show we ask you to put your glasses in the air and say i'll, I'll sip to that. that see you guys next week play the wendy song <laughs> <laughs>